They're your guides for a good time and they're back to tell us about their latest finds. We have Jeremy and Angie Jones from Discover the Berg here telling us about some exciting things that you can check out across the area. So good to have you guys back. Thanks for having us. All right, so we're going to start in Allentown. Tell us what's happening here. Yeah, so this is um, a really cool little specialty shop. So it's uh, Dr. Tumble Tees, um, but specifically we're talking about the Storyville Lounge, which is a cool sort of speakeasy in the back of the shop. Um, so we've actually gotten to check it out during the Allentown Night Market, but they have um, special events there like burlesque shows and concerts. Um, so actually one of the bands that we saw um, during the night market is going to be there uh, next Saturday. So the Penna Players. So um, some traditional kind of jazz, which really goes along with the vibe there. So is this something where you need special permission to get into the back? Like, do you need to know a secret code to get <laughs> into the back room? Well, I, I think they hide it behind a bookcase, but every time we've been there, it's been for a public event, so it's always been open. Open, okay. Um, you know, right now they're they're uh, they're kind of working to be an open full time, so it's all the shows are ticketed events. So very cool, possibly, but I don't actually. Yeah, I like this yeah, idea of a be. secret code. <laughs> yeah. You just have to say the word and you get in. Um, also, and that's on the seventeenth, right? Yes. Uh, also on the seventeenth, um, there's the Spirits of the Berg. Tell us about this event. Yeah. So you know, we love Beers of the Berg, which is the annual beer festival that typically oh, yeah. takes place at Cary Furnace. Uh, the same same organizers behind that are doing a spirits festival and that's uh, next Saturday at the Pennsylvania in downtown. Ooh. So instead of focusing on beer, they're focusing on spirits. So, you know, we have a lot of great local distilleries. I think they're getting about 15 distilleries coming. Um, Maggie's, Liberty Pole, Wiggle, you know, a bunch of others. They're doing uh, spirit samples and cocktail tastings. Um, there's also going to be some wine and breweries there and, and food as well. And it's going to be great fun. And, you know, any any event that the team behind Beers of the Berg puts on is always a lot of fun. So we're just really excited that they're moving into spirits. This celebrate that side of our and what an iconic venue too. the Pennsylvania is such a gorgeous building mm -hmm. so to be able to hang out there for a little bit is great yeah one of my favorite photos is the one from outside that just went out it's oh just, beautiful yeah. um, let's talk about this new wine bar too that just opened yeah um, Barcelona wine bar is actually a chain um, they have I think 50 stores around the East Coast um, I've been going to the one in Washington DC for years but it's a Spanish tapas and wine bar uh, just opened in the cultural district about two weeks ago um, I love it because they have just a, a ridiculously long wine menu where you can get either by the bottle, glass, or half glass of wine, mm -hmm. and then tapas. And their tapas menu is almost as long as the wine list. So you can get like, you know, classics like, um, you know, gambas a la hio. Um, my favorite is uh, a chorizo with sweet and sour figs. They have Ooh. paella. It's, it's um, one of our favorite ways to eat, just yeah. like grays through well, the Well, that's meal. it. It's like, yeah. I mean, for the people who don't know anything about tapas, it's like, really just like appetizers. Yeah, they're it's, small. It's just small plates. Yeah, you yeah. get like six for a couple and you just kind of, they come out when they're ready and you, you know, try a half glass of wine. And, you and then you eat a little bit of figs yeah. and chorizo. It like and it's great. Then it's you find so the one fun. you like and you order it again, <laughs> figs and chorizo. <laughs> <laughs> it opens, sounds really good too. Um, and we love our Polish food here in Pittsburgh. Of course. So yes. there's a new pop-up? Yeah, so Polska Alaska, so we've had the chance to try her food at a couple of uh, breweries around town, but now she has an actual uh, storefront oh, that's that great. should have regular hours soon in um, Sharpsburg. So um, she has like, you know, traditional uh, pierogi fillings, but also some kind of out there things like taco and buffalo chicken. So, oh, interesting. And, you know, of course, along with uh, cabbage rolls, kielbasa, all Wish the classics. She, yeah. Yeah. Oh. We just had a whole discussion today on cabbage rolls because here we call them pigs in a blanket, cabbage rolls. but. Elsewhere, like that means something different. It means like the little sausages rolled in crescent rolls, you know? Yeah. Anyways, yeah. I digress. <laughs> um, and uh, food halls too, like we, we've seen a big surge in, in these. And so tell us about the new offerings coming soon. Yeah, there's going to be two food halls coming in the Strip District, and they're both going to be Asian uh, focused. The first is Novo Asian Food Hall in the Terminal Building. Um, that's being put together by the team behind Mola and Everyday Noodles, I, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to have seven stalls um, and a bar. And two of them have been announced so far. One's going to be Korean Garden from Oakland's moving in, and then another's going to be a Filipino concept. And we we walked by uh, just yesterday, and it looks like it's getting pretty close to being open, but it's, uh, you know, don't know the exact opening date yet. And then many more Asian market in um, the Strip is getting a new location, and then they are um, opening some food as well, like uh, Chinese barbecue, uh, bu bubble tea, sushi, and things like that, so you can get some food while you're shopping as well. It's so funny because some of our guests who are here for a segment's coming up, we're like, yes, I love them. It's going to be so good. It is going to be amazing. We just, we're just waiting, you know. Everything looks pretty good, but yeah. we don't know when it's going to open. Just uh, soon. Okay, well, fingers crossed it's soon. <laughs> yeah. um, and this is something really cool. I know Boaz would love this one. I'm sure he already knows about it. The annual seed swap is taking place soon. Yes, yeah, so this is, uh, remind me of the date, the 2nd. The 2nd of March. March. Yeah, Saturday. Um, so that's at the main library in, um, in 
in Oakland. So this is put on by Grow Pittsburgh and Phipps. Um, so we've actually attended in the past. It's really, really fun to get some like uh, free seeds uh, for planting in your vegetable garden. We love gardening personally. So yeah. um, there's also lots of workshops and there's a really cool feature. Uh, it's like ask a master gardener. So they can answer all of your gardening questions right there for you. Some kids activities. It's That's really great. great. And it's a seed swap. So if you have heirloom seeds, take them because yeah. you can find some cool stuff. Like we took pawpaw seeds last year and they got scooped up in about five seconds what they put on the table. We had a whole segment on the pawpaw fruit and the trees and like this whole, I had no idea they existed, but that's yeah. really cool. Yeah. yeah, very neat. You guys hit everything across the board. We had <laughs> something for everyone there. For more information on Discover the Berg, you can head to our website, kdka.com slash talk Pittsburgh. After a long day of family activities, you're probably looking for a quick and easy meal to get dinner on the table. And Mikey is over in the kitchen right now with Chef Anthony from Don's Appliances, who has the perfect recipe that you can throw together in just 30 minutes. All right, thanks so much, Heather. It smells so good over here. I'm here with Chef Anthony. What are we making today? So we're making a fabulous chicken marsala today, but we're putting a special twist on it. We're adding like a little bit of fettuccine, and I do finish it with some vinegar, so it really gives it a good taste. Oh, that so. sounds so good. All right, well, we still have some more work to do here in the kitchen. Heather, you're going to have to check back in to see how things are going with us.